tus hijos han casado ni han cunawan. Buscan ya un caso por allá cucho. Buscan ya un caso por el Perú. Señor Gobernador Regional de Ayacucho, Señor Presidente de la Asamblea Nacional de Gobernadores del Perú, Señora Ministra de Vivienda, Señor Ministro de Transportes y Comunicaciones, Señor Ministro de Desarrollo e Inclusión Social, Estimadas hermanas y hermanos de esta hermosa región ayacuchana, Estimados señores de la prensa, señoras y señores, como ya lo dijo el gobernador, 30 años o más de olvido para Ayacucho, pero no solamente para Ayacucho, sino para el Perú. Y como yo le decía hace unos instantes al gobernador, no hay derecho para tanto olvido, no hay derecho para tanta pobreza, no hay derecho para tanto abandono. ¿Dónde han estado los presidentes anteriores? ¿Dónde han estado las autoridades anteriores? Ha tenido que venir una mujer presidenta para tratar a todos los peruanos como a sus hijos. Dina Elsilia Bolate Zegara, born 31st May 1962, is a Peruvian politician, civil servant, and lawyer currently serving as the president of Peru since 7th December 2022. She had served as the first vice president and minister at the Ministry of Development and Social Inclusion under President Pedro Castillo. Before then, she served as an officer at the National Registry of Identification and Civil Status from 2007 until 2022. With Bolate assuming the presidency as the sole vice president, president of Congress, Alejandro Solo is next in the line of succession. Bolate is the first woman to become president of Peru. Initially, a member of Free Pelo. She was sworn in following President Pedro Castillo's attempt to dissolve Congress, citing legislature's obstruction of his government, which resulted in his impeachment, ousting and arrest. Her presidency comes during a period of political turmoil in Pelo that began in 2017 as she is the sixth president in five years. She would quickly receive support from right-wing groups and the media organizations in Peru due to her support for conservatism and the existing economic model. Bolate created a coalition with the majority right-wing Congress of Peru, which had lost but not conceded the 2021 Peruvian general election and the Peruvian armed forces raising concerns about a civilian military government forming. During her first months as president, protests against her government emerged across Peru, during which authorities perpetrated the Ayachucho massacre and Juliaca massacre. Analysts said that the Bolate administration was undergoing democratic backsliding and heading towards authoritarianism. While her government is cracked down of protests, Freedom House, moving Peru from free to partly free in the 2023 Freedom in the World. Bolate praised the armed forces despite their violent actions and said that though she was the commander-in-chief of the military, she had no control over their decisions.